Auto Ads for Realtors. I'm going to walk you through the clearest explanation you will find on YouTube of how to create a high converting Google ad in order to generate hot leads that turn into booked appointments and then close deals. But I'm also going to talk to you about two incredibly important things I don't see anybody else sharing when it comes to actually running a proper Google ad. The first is how to make sure that you're identifying the right target area for your specific market, not general, in order to guarantee that your ad performs. But secondly, actually walking you through a couple ninja strategies that will guide you to make sure your ad outperforms anybody else in your market. Now, before diving in, I just wanted to mention that I just launched my brand new free training. It's a 60 minute masterclass where I walk you through how to leverage ChatGPT and AI in order to generate unbelievable amounts of leads for free using strategies I don't see a single other person talking about. And truthfully, some of the stuff in here is what most people People charge three to five thousand dollars to teach you and it's all free so if you want that just drop a comment and say GPT leads I'll give you that free training and you will be mind blown it is unbelievable so without further ado let's turn on this camera let's head into this screen and let's walk you through step by step how to create an incredible Google ad right now okay so let's walk through this step by step click by click tutorial of how to run a Google ad now let me talk to you about a couple things first that nobody else talks about when it comes to Google ads. The first thing is I want to make sure that you're actually prepared to run the Google ad. And I'm going to give you a ton of resources when it comes to copy and paste, and this is going to make your life a whole lot easier. But most people just dive straight into the Google ad and then you get to certain components and you realize at the end, you're running a Google ad for something that might not even convert. And I don't want that to be the case and nobody talks about this. So what I want to do is make sure you're prepared. And so let's talk about the intent of this ad and talk about what we need to do to get prepared for this ad. So this is going to be an ad for a specific community in your market. Now I will walk through all of the misconceptions, all of the things most people misunderstand as we walk through this. But the reason why we're not doing just, for example, in my market, Calgary, buying a house in Calgary, targeting buyers in Calgary, is because everybody's doing that. And I will prove that here in a second. But what you want to do for your smaller budget to go further is to target a community that you know is in high demand. And by targeting a community or neighborhood, if you will, that's in high demand with high turnover, lots of desirability, that's going to give you an opportunity to have less competition, as well as make sure that your ad is going to perform and not have to be going up against the top agents in your city with massive budgets that are all just going over the entire city. So what we're going to do is target, for an example, mahogany in Calgary. That's one neighborhood or community. There's a lot of new development. There's a lot of homes from 500K to 750 to a million to 3 million. And a lot of people want to live here because it's a lake community. So let me show you the research you should do before starting to run your ad. And then I will give you the exact strategy of how to run the ad. So pick a community that you have in mind that you would like to farm or that is in high demand, ideally both. So what we're going to do is first we'll come to Google and we will say, for example, homes for sale in mahogany. Now we can look here and look at the competition. So this is what we're going up against. So when we create our ad, our goal is to make sure that our ad is better than these ones, all the ones that say sponsored here. So we can see here a builder. This is probably a realtor, a community, a builder as well, or a, a realtor as well and a realtor. So we want to outperform these. Let's do two more quick tests to make sure that this is a community worth targeting and then let's get into creating our actual ad. So if we come over here and we come to tools. Now, if you ran Google ads in the past, you might notice that this looks a little bit different. As always, frustratingly enough, they continue to change the appearance of Facebook ads and Google ads. And so if you preferred the old one, you can click appearance, use previous design, and it would look how it did last year. But let's use the new one just in case you're new and you're starting fresh. We can come over to tools and then we're going to go up to planning and keyword planner. And we will do two tests just to make sure that this is what we want to target. So let's type homes for sale in mahogany. Uh, buying a house in mahogany, something like that. 
get results. And what we'll do is we'll come over here and we will see something pretty interesting that I will show you. And nobody talks about this. This is crazy. And it will give you a massive opportunity if you really want to create Ninja Google ads. So if we come down here, we can see, okay, keywords you provided homes for sale mahogany. Well, there's one to 10,000 uh, monthly searches, which is good. The cost per lead is not too high or cost per click rather, um, slightly below a dollar to $2, but keyword ideas. So let's look at this. If we scroll down here, we can see some of the other keywords that we probably should be using. Mahogany homes for sale, mahogany houses for sale, condos. But if we come down here further, notice this three month change. Oh, wow. Well, look at that. Let's look at these two condos in Mahogany, Calgary, quick possession homes in Mahogany, 900% increase over the last three months. Single family is getting expensive here. And a lot of people are now searching for alternatives, which is quick possession homes. If they want to get a new build that's ready and rock, um, and also condos. And if we come down here further, we can see MLS listings has gone down, but there was a search where it shows townhomes also went up 900%. So single family, not so much, but townhomes and condos, yes. So that's where we could start to look at the data to get some really cool ideas. And then lastly, there's a tool here that I like to use, which is SEMrush. Um, and if we look at the keyword overview, we can just look at, for example, or the magic tool, uh, homes for sale in mahogany search and okay now we can start to see yes the keyword difficulty is good if we searched homes for sale in calgary it would be difficult because there's so many people doing it but there's high search volume per month the keyword difficulty is easy because it's a community not the whole market and the cost per click is pretty reasonable so that means this is a good community so just do that test because that's going to prepare you. The last thing that we need before we get started is to come over to our IDX website and then filter by the most popular homes in mahogany. So make sure it's filtered by popularity and then make sure you look at the homes only in a community that you're looking for. And here we go. Now, if you want to go a step further, you can filter by single family or just condos, but I'm going to do it this way of just the whole community as a whole. And this is going to be the link that we're going to use. So now we can prove that this is a good community. We have the link for the community and now we can start our Google ad instead of doing what most people do was just rushing into the ad and not explaining how they find anything. So let's come back to campaigns overview, new campaign. Let's get started. So when it comes to choosing your objective, multitude of different options, leads is going to be generating leads, uh, website traffic would be sending uh, people to a website, which we are going to do. Um, but there's some ninja stuff that I'm going to get to at the end here. Um, and then you can create a campaign without a goals guidance, the rest you don't have to worry about. We want leads. So we're just going to make it simple because I want you to be able to get your ad up and running immediately to generate leads. Now the conversion tracking, you could set this up whenever you go ahead and set up your um, Google ad account. You don't need this to run the ad. It is a benefit. But again, I just want to give you a tutorial of what will help you get started now. Um, so let's continue. And we want to use a search ad. So when you look at a search ad, that is these here, the ones that are showing up in search. You've got a multitude of other options, which is display ads, which show across on the side. And then you've got demand gen, which is YouTube, Gmail, and discover. We want search. So we're going to go with search website visits. Let's paste in that link that we already had prepared and then just say, you know, mahogany buyers continue start new. Now, when it comes to bidding, you've got a couple of different um, options here, but we do want conversions. And if you want to know more information, you click over here and it'll always give you a bunch more information. So I recommend taking some time to actually read through some of this. So if you want to stop, pause or rewind after um, you could do that. But the more you know, the more you grow. So you don't need to read this right now because I'll show you exactly how to do it. But it is good to further your knowledge and at least know enough to be dangerous. So I always unclick the uh, display network. I find my ads convert the highest um, for the best results in terms of actually conversations afterward uh, when it comes to just doing the search network. 
and now we're going to come through and we've got the targeting. So here is a massive lesson for you. The difference between Facebook ads and Google ads. Let me explain as clearly as possible. This is so, so important because this is going to massively impact how your ad performs. When you look at Facebook ads, we use Calgary as an example. Well, you're going to run your ad in Calgary, 15 mile radius, and it's just the goal of the ad is to show up in front of as many people that live in Calgary as possible. So you're going to just select your market because it's just showing up in front of people. It's just forcefully showing up, right? As people are scrolling. However, you have to realize that Google is about the search, not just showing up what people are actually searching. So the big difference in delineation here is that there's a lot of people from Ontario and British Columbia that are moving to Calgary because of the price point difference and the quality of life. So when I were to run this, if I was to do it for overall Calgary, I would also select Ontario and British Columbia. If I was doing buyers in the whole city or new construction in the whole city, the reason being is because it's pay per click. You only pay when people click on your ad. So if somebody's in Ontario and they're typing in homes for sale in Calgary, well, guess what? Your ad can show up and you don't have to target like Facebook, all of Ontario and show it to every person who doesn't care at all about buying or selling and waste a ton of money. You're only paying when people search for it and click on it. So if you know that there's a lot of people from a different market that are moving to your city and you're doing an ad about new homes for sale in your city, new construction, which by the way, I'll be doing another tutorial on. So if you want that, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it because that is a ninja one. Um, but it's important to understand your market. So the reason why I'm only going to target Calgary is because I'm doing it for a community. Only people in my city would know about this community. If I was doing the whole city, maybe new homes for sale in Calgary, only for new construction, new development, I would target Calgary, British Columbia, and Ontario, the whole province, because I know so many people are moving here from there. So it's really important to have awareness that this is based on search, not just about showing up in front of everybody in that entire market like Facebook ads. That's why these convert so high. So location options, we're going to enter a location. I like to go advanced search and we're going to type in Calgary. Now, if you also know that there's other people, for example, Airdrie 20 minutes north, if you know there's a lot of people that might move from Airdrie to the community that you're going to be doing, you can include Airdrie, you can include Chestermere or Okotoks or any of these other ones. But most people within my market, based on me knowing my market and you knowing your market, this is where we want to go. Now, the next thing is we're going to make sure it's presence or interest. So presence or interest, people in regular or have shown interest in the location. Well, while that's recommended, I actually prefer this and people in irregularly in your target locations. And because sometimes this is, you know, shown interest in your target locations, but they're, they don't want to move here. Maybe they're just planning a vacation here. These are people that actually live here. So now what we're going to do is come down and you've got languages. Mine's going to be English, but we've got audience segments. So we want to expand this. And then this is going to allow you to target things even further because it has in market audiences. So we type in real estate, for example, you will see in market audiences, people interested in purchasing or renting residential or commercial real estate. Well, yes, we like that. Um, we also like residential properties or homes for sale or new homes for sale, new apartments for sale, residential properties for sale for rent. No, we want buyers, not renters. And a lot of people will be listening to this and say, well, Mike, I want listings. Well, guess what? Most buyers are sellers first. They're just looking for a home in a specific community to move to. Then they have to sell, which is why this kills two birds with one stone and rent. Ignore all that commercial, ignore all that. So we're pretty much good to go with these six. Now you have an option down here for targeting or observation. So targeting, as you can see here, narrow the reach of your campaign to the selected segments. So that means it's basically just going to target these. But if we come to observation, what it's going to do is it's going to observe whether these are performing better than the keywords and the other stuff we're going to get to, and then it'll allocate your budget accordingly based on what's performing the best. So 
I like to use observation. It is recommended, and I do agree with that. So we're going to keep uh, keyword uh, use keyword match types instead of broad keyword match types. If we unpack settings, we have the start and end date. So if we look at this, you could see March 2nd, and then we always want to set an end date because what I don't want to happen, maybe three weeks down the road, is, for example, some people will create an ad, and then suddenly, three weeks down the road, four weeks down the road, they forget they're running an ad, and it's just burning a hole in their wallet, and it's not converting, and they forgot about it. At least if you set an end date, it will stop at some point, which is good. So more settings. We don't need to worry about this at all. So we've done our bidding. We've done the campaign settings. Now it's time to do the keywords and ads. So if we come down here, what this is going to do is with the keywords, these auto populate based on the website. So based on this being a website that's real estate focused, filtered by mahogany, of course, it's going to come put in a bunch of things, but like single home, terrible property, sell terrible max realty. No idea what that is. Um, we look at all these EXP realty, uh, near me, nobody cares. So let's delete all these because these are trash and these are never going to help your ad convert. We want to get better results. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up my little list. And so what we're going to do is come through here and you can copy and paste these or drop a comment below and I'll actually give you my full list of these. Um, but these are the ones that I wrote out for mahogany, but we also want negative keywords. So what negative keywords are is we can look here and say homes for sale mahogany. Well, if this is just homes for sale mahogany and we don't include negative keywords, meaning alternatives that we don't want to show up for. This could show up and people could click on it for bird homes for sale in mahogany, dog homes for sale in mahogany, trailer homes for sale in mahogany, all these things that we do not want to show up for. So we don't want to waste our budget on people looking for dog homes in mahogany. We want single family or condos or townhomes in mahogany, buyers with that type of budget, not people looking to spend $50 on a dog home. So. What we want to do is come paste in some keywords, some negative keywords, and I will give you a list of this again. Just drop a comment below and say keywords and I'll send it to you um, so that that way you can just copy and paste it. But again, we don't want to show up for rentals. We don't care about the cheapest. Um, we care more about condos, townhomes, single family, quick possession homes, things like that, right? And what we could see, and you could just change, you know, your... Um, your neighborhood out here. Um, but you can see here on the right hand side, we've got the cost per conversion. So $7 and 78 cents. That's not bad. Um, and then we've got conversions per week. Now this will change when we get to the budget, which is going to be the next step. So just sit tight because even though this is looking pretty good, that might change once we get to the budgeting and change the daily or weekly budget. So now what we want to do just come down and we've done the keywords. Now it's time to start building our ad. So what's a display path? What I'm going to get to in a second here is site link extensions, which is super crucial and a huge differentiating factor. So what we're going to do is come down here. And if we look at the display path, that's what shows up at the link. Because if we look at this exprealty.com and then all of this nonsense at the end, well, that's not a very good link. Um, and nobody wants to click on that. So what we want to do is make it look more literal mahogany. So now you can see here, it's my name dash experience dash mahogany. So the display path is just showing people the link that is going to be clicked on, but tailoring it in a way that looks better so that they know it's very literal about what they're looking for. You could put another one here. Um, you could put, you know, for sale. Uh, but because my link is so long, you'll see it won't even show up. And so if this link was shorter, it would show up as well. But we're going to come down here and now we've got headlines. So when it comes to headlines, there's a couple things that are really important here. So we're going to do something like mahogany homes for sale. Mahogany property search. But we want to come back here. And this is why when people are saying that they have the perfect list, I don't necessarily agree with it. And the reason being is because there's different ads run in every single market. 
And so the goal of this, similar to YouTube, your goal is to make your thumbnails look better than the competition, which changes in every market. There's no perfect answer for every market. You want your ad to look better than the ones that are currently showing up here. So if we refresh this, we've got a couple here, right? So mahogany homes for sale, new homes for sale, mahog homes for sale, mahogany. We want our ad to look better than this. This is going to change based on your market, which is why I wanted to prepare you in the beginning. So we can come here and we can look at so mahogany, um, mahogany MLS listings, something like that. Now I've got our other headlines. So when we start looking at some of the other headlines. We can look at, let's look at a couple things. We can look at uh, a comma one that I use live MLS search. We can look at view all, how many listings are there? 44. 44 active listings. Updated 24. So updated 24 seven. And it has to remain under 30 characters. Now, again, one thing that I do want to say here is if you would like to know how I use ChatGPT to actually run some of my highest converting uh, Google ads, just make sure you subscribe because I've got some tutorials coming out about that. So you could do, you know, search active listings now. And the one thing that's really important is that you want people to be able to look at it and know it's exactly for your market, exactly for the neighborhood that you're targeting very quickly. So with that being said, we want to pin the ones that have the neighborhood or the community in the first name first. So you can pin these to the position, which means it will always show up in the first position. As you can see here, position one, two, three. Otherwise, it's just going to be a bit of a round robin and it's going to mix and match them. Now, the ones that I always like to do at the end, position three is going to be the ones, you know, active, um, updated 24 seven live MLS search. I like those to be at the end. And then we can do this in position two, but you'll start to see how the ad is showing up. Well, now we need to come down to the description. The description yet again you want to come back and look at what are others doing now the beautiful part if you see my future tutorial is that i'll show you how to use chat gpt to in seconds make it easily better with the click of one button so again make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that um but if we come down i've got a couple things here that we can play with and so we can look at my list here a few the uh, most updated list of homes for sale in mahogany updated every five minutes, something like that. And then we can look at a couple other ones, uh, which is, you know, hundred percent free, save your search immediately. live updates daily. So basically all that this is, um, so live updates, um, for most popular listings. And so what this does is it'll start to build the ad, but it makes sure you can see, make descriptions unique that your ad is started to come together. Now, the one thing that's really important is that this is going to show you poor ad strength. You need to include popular words, make it more unique. This doesn't matter that much. At the end of the day, this is just a bit of a guideline similar to when you use vidIQ or TubeBuddy for YouTube, um, where the perfect score doesn't always mean the perfect ad. And so that's why I don't want you to focus too much on that. But now let's talk about something really important, which is site links heavily overlooked by a lot of people. What are site links? If we come back here as a site links, are going to be things like this, looking at mahogany homes, mahogany condos. These are site links. And so people could click this and go directly to mahogany homes, click this, go directly to mahogany condos. 
convenient sells. So when you make it convenient, they're more likely to click on your ad. So what would I do in this scenario? What I would do is I would come back here and we're going to create. And I would say something like single family homes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back here and I'm going to filter this by single family. And then I'd apply it. And then we look at all the ones that are mahogany that are single family. So mahogany and these are all the single family ones. So I'd paste that in here. Well, what would I do next? I would come down here and I would say town homes. And then I would filter by multifamily or townhomes, whatever the search is for yours. And if there are any, which in this case, there's none available, but if there were, then you put that in here. And then what would I do for the next one? I would put condos and then I would come back and all that I would do is come here and filter by condos. And I put that link in here. And then lastly, you might have another one, which could be in my city lakefront because it's a lake community or under 500 K if that's super in demand. So we could put under 500 K and now we could come here and we can look at this and we'll choose all of these, but we want the max price to be 500 K. Let's see. Apply filters. Great. So now these are the seven that are under 500K. And so now what you'll see if we come up here is that we've got our, our ad, but then also single family, townhomes, condos, and under 500K. So people can click on those and go directly to the list. And so that's what makes your ad stand out so much more than the other people is making it much more convenient for them to navigate what they're looking for without having to guess, just presenting it and making it convenient. So now we'll click create and save. Now call outs doesn't make much of a difference. Um, call outs, as you can see here, is basically the ability for people, if I click call now, it'll show up at the end. It's a link that will basically go directly to people being able to call you. I don't think this adds much value. I've tested a ridiculous amount of money on Google ads and I've never seen it make a single difference. Um, but now we can start to see $7 and 95 cents. And now let's go next. So this is really important. We can set a custom budget. It's going to tell you a recommended one, which is probably if you're just getting started higher than you would like to spend. So come to custom budget. I do not recommend spending less than $30 a day. And so some people will say, well, Mike, I can't afford $30 a day. And I understand that, but this is different than something like Facebook ads, Facebook ads. You pay no matter whether, whether people click on it or not. If, if you get no leads, you're still paying $30 a day, but with Google ads, you pay per click. So you're paying $30 a day, which might be a bit more than you're expecting, but you're only paying when you have the potential to get a lead. So it's way better. Now, one thing that's really going to throw people for a loop. You can see here, let's say it's $30 a day, weekly cost 210. Here's what happens. You might see a day where, where you see a bill, um, not for $30 a day, but $47. Why? And people get all freaked out. And what happens here is that unlike Facebook, where if you put $30 a day, it will spend pretty much $30 a day every day for the week with Google, it audits how your ad is performing. So if your ad's performing really well on certain days, it'll spend more. But on other days, it's not performing so well, it'll spend less. And what happens is you will not spend more than the 210 at the end of the week. So if you see days where you're spending more than you were expecting and you get worried or concerned um, that you can't afford it, by the end of the week, it'll even out to the point where you will not spend more than the $210 that you set out to spend. So just a bit of peace of mind there in case you see that because a lot of people get freaked out about it. There's nothing to worry about. That's just part of the process. And then we click next. 
And now what this is going to do is give you a chance to review it. We've got our cost per conversion, which is about $5.63, potentially upwards of $37 per week, $210 a week. And we can just come through, look at this. We need to change anything we can, um, but we've got our summary. And then all you have to do is click publish campaign and you're done. So really not that difficult, but again, I've got a ton of really cool ones, variations coming out for like new construction, leveraging chat, GPT or AI for Google ads in order to make it even easier for you to show up and convert way better than all of the other alternatives that are showing up. So again, make sure that you're subscribed. And if you have any questions, drop a comment below because we do respond to a hundred percent of them. So thanks so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I uh, can't wait to see you run your next Google ad.